Let's begin with what was, I think, the game of the day. Exciting game. Maybe a Super Bowl preview. Who the hell knows? Rams at Bills. And, Chris, look, every week when we decide to start Football Night in America, best thing you saw right out of the gates, it's always Josh Allen for you. But Josh Allen really was the best thing that you saw on Sunday. After watching the game again, do you still feel as strongly about Josh Allen being the best thing you saw on Sunday? I, I definitely do. Yeah, I do. I mean, you know, again, and, and like obviously I like Josh Allen. I'm a fan of his. I became more of a fan of his because, you know, this certain group that wouldn't give him any respect either when he got in the NFL or he left with college. It was always just trying to put him down, put him down, put him down. And usually when you do to the guys like that that are talented, I want to latch on and go, let's go, put him up, put him up, put him up. Here we go. And the last three weeks, I, I, I realistically think he's been the best thing I've seen on Sunday. I mean, when it comes time to do talk and, yeah, you know, we don't know the end of the 4 o'clock games. Maybe I would have picked Russell Wilson if I saw that game in totality last week, certainly. But Josh, it's the Josh Allen show in Buffalo. Everything they're doing is predicated because Josh Allen – has a skill set that is scary, scary good. It is up there. I'm not going to say with Mahomes, but it's the next level guy down right now. It really is. I mean, all the things they do with him. I mean, you talk about throwing the ball down the play, okay? Don't, throwing the ball down the field, aggressive that way. He extends plays. They're running quarterback option, wishbone stuff to the left. Quarterback drop, uh, quarterback draws. Option to the right for touchdowns. And they do some of the Mahomes stuff, too, where they just tell him, hey, drop back really deep, and we're going to send people deep really deep, far down the field. And he either makes a great throw or he's created space like Mahomes to where then he avoids the pass rush and makes other great plays off schedule. So he is absolutely a baller in the NFL right now. And we know Mahomes is the best quarterback in the game, and Russell Wilson's probably played the best through three weeks of football. There's no doubt about that. But Josh Allen is nipping at the heels of both of those guys to be like, hey, hey, I'm pretty awesome, too. And there's no doubt it is the Josh Allen show. And what they're doing right now is because of him and his skill. And they built something around him. I agree with you. And he is definitely on the right side of that line that we've kind of identified where the quarterbacks who can run the play that's called as long as everything goes as it's supposed to. It'll be fine and the quarterbacks who can find a way to extend a play that falls apart, make things happen with their feet by time, and throw the ball down the field while on the run, or just take off and run and get the first down or the touchdown that way. Josh Allen clearly is in that, that handful of quarterbacks who can do it at a high level. Right. The difference I see when you watch it play after play after play, and that's one of the great things about the Game Pass feature. I don't know why I'm going so all in on this, but I, hey, hey, I recognize when there's a great product. The condensed version of the game, which gives you one play after another after another, where you can watch it in 45 minutes, but you get into that rhythm and you see, and, and it's there's a, there's a vibe that comes through when you watch it one after another after another. For him, there's an element, Chris, where he's right on the edge of yes. being out of control. Right, right. Where Patrick Mahomes is running around, hair on fire, but you know, at the end of the day. He's going to jump out the window and he's going to be fine. Right. With Josh Allen, you never quite know what the hell's going to happen. Yeah. And sometimes something happens other than what Patrick Mahomes would do in that moment. And he makes one of those what in the hell was that type decisions. And and that that's part of what you have to accept. You're going to have, a, a, you know. With Patrick Mahomes, you're on the edge of your seat, but you're like, this is going to work out. With Josh Allen, you're on the edge of your seat, and you're thinking, what the hell is this going to be? And yeah. you really don't know until it happens. No, you're, you're right. There's still a little bit of, like, you know, playing with his hair on fire moments. There's no doubt. But d don't. all I would say is don't let old narratives continue to beat you down when the guy's thrown for over 1,000 yards and 10 touchdowns and one interception – and but the old narrative was he's not an accurate passer. There well, was yeah, I know. I know the old narrative is incorrect. When you play up in blizzards and like up in Montana <laughs> and the, and and the receivers like, suck and the receivers suck and the whole team sucks. And it was the worst <laughs> offensive line. I mean, really, that I don't, that's where I that's where I started to push back against the people who are like, well, his film didn't look good. I want to go. Well, we could put Mahomes up there, too, and it wouldn't look that good in Montana. It's just, just the way it is. And. and uh, so that bothers me. But either way, you're right. There's still a polish factor that we'd like to see. But 
the raw physical ability and what he did in a Rams defense that's pretty good playing right through the first two weeks. His ability to stay in the pocket and avoid guys like Aaron Donald, who made a mess of things a number of times during the game. You know, they had a plan for him. They slid the line, slid the line his way a lot, made sure they maybe had two bodies aware of Aaron Donald was. But that doesn't matter. It's Aaron Donald. He's one of the greatest of all time. He had many times where he was still back there. But Josh Allen's ability to avoid him made that, you know, a, a, a mute, mute, mute point. Okay, I got it right, Good. I think. Well done. Made it a well moot point. And even on the third and 22, Aaron Donald busts back there. Josh Allen does a great job. And because the Rams play a lot of zone defense, this is where Josh Allen's scary because he avoids the pass rush. And just like Russell or Mahomes, then he manipulates the zone. He looks over here. He's also running over here. So the defense slides that way. And then, boom, he could throw it into another hole where a receiver is sat down. He's very good that way. And I think that's one thing I took away from the film watching it, like on the coaches' film too, Mike, is just like the they're, the Rams are young in the secondary. They're a good football team. And if I was going to say something about them and what they could do, they need to put more pressure on Jalen Ramsey. That would be one thing I would look at. You know, they're playing a lot of zone. You can't pay that guy that kind of money and not let him live on an island a little bit and make some stops. I know there was two touchdown passes thrown on him by Stephon Diggs. It was phenomenal coverage. It wasn't that it was really the only completions he let up during the day. And he, I, to me, they need to ask more of him, and they'll be able to do other creative things with their secondary behind it once they get to that point. One last point on Allen. Yeah. You know, we, we have come to accept that there are certain quarterbacks that aren't going to fit the mold. They're not going to have the mechanics, the footwork. They, they can throw the ball from any arm angle, any body position, and we're not going to be critical. With Allen, though, it, it contributes to this sense that it's on the edge because the, the, the posture at times is kind of all over the place, yeah. but he still, he still gets rid of the football and it still goes to where it's supposed to go more often than not. No, you're, you're right. There's, there's throws where you go, whoa, he's running around, he's moving around, and his feet are all cockeyed, but yet he throws the ball you know 20 yards this way even though his feet were lined up to go the other way. He, he does have that. You know, there's no doubt. But, you know, Mahomes does that too. But you're, you're still an element of sometimes where you go, that's just out of control. Like, he threw that ball too hard. Or it just was he lost control of it and it flew up in the air too high. Yeah, I know what you're saying there. There definitely is. But the important thing is we've seen adjustments happen about his game. And I think that's what the Bills have seen. And that's why they're so confident in him. And that's why they've literally given him the keys to the Ferrari and they're playing through him right now. I mean, that's what they're doing because the Bills' defense hasn't been very special. We could talk about that too here in a second. But I think your point, you know, we talked about, um, you know, cleaning it up a little bit. He's cleaned it up. You talk about, oh, can he throw the ball with touch? He's making some of the greatest touch throws every week through three weeks in the season. And I think those are all positives to go, hey, the kid's obviously coachable and aware of his issues, and he's trying to work on it and get better, and he is right in front of us. The example that just popped into my head, Mahomes is like the guy who's riding the bicycle very smoothly with his eyes closed, and Josh Allen is the kid who has just finally figured out how to keep the bike upright and yeah, yeah, constantly yeah. wobbling right. a little bit, but it's not crashing, Yeah, but it's constantly doing this, and you just wonder which way it's going to go. All right, you mentioned the Bills' defense. Let's skip ahead to that, and we'll come back and talk about Aaron Donald. Okay. The Bills' defense, I, I think the Rams did a great job running against the Buffalo defense not as great passing I think they should have stuck with the run a lot more than they did uh, especially on some drives in the first half that didn't go their way what concerns do you have about Buffalo's defense after taking a closer look because they really struggled to stop that running they, they really did well, the Buffalo Bill front four I think has been underwhelming through three weeks that concerns me and I mean you're right about the run game Mike there's nothing to say there's nothing more to say about it other than the Sean McVay brought it to Sean McDermott and that Buffalo defense schematically and everything they did. Where this game is misleading because it got 28-3, to you think, oh, Buffalo must have done something right to start the game and really shut down the Rams. And no, that's not the case. For anybody who wants to go back and watch the game, you'll see the Rams were never stopped throughout the day. They drove down the first drive of the game, missed a field goal. They drove down the second drive of the game, and they were on field goal range, and Jared Goff threw a dumb interception. They drove down the third drive of the game and got a field goal. And then they went into half, and Buffalo scored the first drive of the second half, and 
there you go. Now, we know that interception call and all that changed the game, but the big thing, too, is McVay is just a genius. And if you look at the stat sheet for the Buffalo Bills, the leading tacklers on their football team were Jordan Poyer and Teron Johnson. That's not a good thing. When secondary guys are leading your team in tackling, that tells you your front seven's not making the tackles, right? And more times than not, what I found really that was just mind-boggling to me, and McVay is a genius this way, he found run game design to make sure it always went back to, okay, Buffalo, you want to play nickel defense, four defensive linemen, two linebackers? Well, I'm going to find a way to – that seventh guy you're trying to cheat in the box, the nickel back that's 195 pounds, we're going to end up where the ball's going to be running right at him. And that's where they really expose Buffalo. They put Teron Johnson, who's a nickel cover guy, in a spot where he was probably like, what? I got to fill the hole again and make the tackle? I got to take on the blocker here? All of those type of things, let alone golf and everything. Once that got going and really going, like you're saying, then here comes the boots and everything that goes with it, and then McVay and that offense just roll. You know, you mentioned the Bills scored that touchdown that made it 28-3 at the start of the second half. The yeah. Rams actually had the ball before that, and they were running yeah. it effectively, and they got it to the 46, right. first and 10. A short pass gained six yards, and then second and four incomplete pass, third and four incomplete pass. They went for it on fourth and four, another incomplete pass, abandoned the run in that spot, and and gave the Bills a fairly short field, 52 yards. They scored the touchdown, make it 28-3. to three. But to their credit, the Rams realized we just need to run the ball, and it was runs and it right. was screens, and it was runs and it was screens, and that's what contributed to largely – uh, turning that that 25 point deficit into a late lead. Yeah, it, it did. And you know, this is where Buffalo is going to have to readjust. Buffalo, like the Rams, is a really a zone football team. You know, and of course, when you're getting run on, and then it's the boots. You know, that zone moves one way, and all of a sudden, you know, McVeigh's a master of, hey, we're moving you this way, but man, as you're moving this way, we're going to have somebody coming back the other way. That's going to stress out your zone. That's where they really got Buffalo to where that could be something they might have to dabble with a little bit. And the other thing the Buffalo Bills are going to get used to is teams are going to approach them differently. You know, they're playing differently. Last year it was about playing through their defense, managing Josh Allen, let's make them play, let a, you know, play, make a play here and there. You know, now def teams are playing Buffalo going, we got to push the envelope against the Bills defense because this offense is awesome and they're coming, and they're going to score points and make plays. So I think, therefore, too, it's, it's making life harder on the Bills because teams are coming out, you know, guns a-blazing against them because they know that their defense is going to have a hard time stopping Buffalo, and that's where it's a little different. But Bills D, definitely a little underwhelming, not as impressed with their front four this year and kind of how they're taking over games or not taking over games. Last point fairly quickly. Yeah. Josh Allen told me after the game that if they see the Rams again, I like that attitude that maybe they'll see them again in the Super Bowl. They need a better plan for 99, Aaron Donald. What what went wrong and did anything go right as they tried to contain and slow down the best defensive player in the game? Well, you know, they had moments of where, okay, he didn't ruin the game and do that, but nobody stops Aaron Donald. I mean, Josh Allen's ability to move and dodge him at least, you know, negated some negative negative plays that was a huge aspect but no he's still everywhere causing problems everywhere and you know the the bad thing is he's so dominant and so amazing sometimes and I mean of course the strip sack fumble that get, get set the Rams up to take the lead after all that you know he he's unstoppable uh, and then it, what's even crazy is he's so damn good and we talked about this last week where there's certain plays Mike where he wins his gap so fast and so dominant against the people that are blocking him, it truly ends up being a bad thing for their defense. Like it does because it leads a whole, he flies up there and the offensive linemen are turned around trying to go get him, but it leaves a hole that's like 20 feet wide sometimes. And the linebackers in there going, wait, Donald flew up. There's guys there. Now the running back has wiggled his way back to that like lost area and there's a huge hole, and that's, I mean, he's just amazing. That's all I can really say, and his effects are always there in the football game. You know, the Bills just barely avoided total disaster with him, and that's the way most teams survive against him. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.